Here's my brief introduction to the December issue of the Mover magazine. I hope you all enjoy it. It's out now, of course. Uh, the, the, the main story, the, the, uh, the, the page 26 story, which is in the middle of the magazine, uh, is all about the Paima conference, which took place in uh, Atlanta immediately before I am. And it's the first time Paima has been able to have a conference, of course, a proper face-to-face -face conference for three years and uh, I was there and it was a great event and congratulations to all that took part and if you'd like to read more about it or maybe even see your face in some of the pictures then take a look on page 26 of the magazine. Uh, lots more of course in there as well. Oh, by the way the I Am conference of course immediately followed it uh, but I'm hoping to have a report on that in the January issue but I'll tell you more about that later. Loads more in the magazine of course and um, there's a, uh, a story on page 14 that's come from Santa Fe and it's called Karma Waters and it's about this, the whole shipping business, the, the, you know, all the troubles that everybody knows about with shipping and, um, and, and their uh, assertion that things are going to improve by the look of it uh, which has got to be good news. Um, I've got an interview that I did with Bill Lloyd. Now, I did a, an interview with Bill Lloyd not all that long ago, um, but I, uh, this one was because he has uh, taken over um, the ownership of Asian Tigers in Indonesia. And it's all about um, that process and, and what's happened and the reasons why, um, but also the way that he th sees things as being slightly different now that uh, he's in a different position. Anyway, um, do take a look at that story. I uh, hope you'll enjoy that. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, yes, there's a there's a, an interesting story, I think, from EY, the consulting company, about sustainability. And they have researched, uh, I think, something like 500 of the major companies in the, in the, in the world and uh, about sustainability. And their assertion from that is that these companies have managed to make sustainability pay. So it's not become a cost, it's actually become um, something that is either genuinely generating revenue for them or saving them money. Uh, read the story if you're going through the the whole sustainability thing, which I no doubt you are because so is everybody else. Uh, so do take a look at that one. Uh, we've got a, I was very, very, they very kindly invited me to the Young Mover, the BAR Young Movers Conference in Cambridge a while back. And uh, I went along to that, and it was, as always, very well organised, very well run, and some uh, some good stuff there. Uh, so there's um, there's a report of what happened. There's also another report that's on page thirty two, but on page thirty six, there is a report of, of the what the keynote speaker said, and she was a lady called Kathy McDonald, and she um, was uh, a, a, an ex police officer who had spent a great deal of her working life um, helping to, uh, to, to, to solve um, uh, hostage crises and that kind of thing uh, uh, with, with uh, suicide uh, people, people uh, threatening to, to jump off high buildings and all that kind of thing and talking them down and it's, it's, uh, it's all about the, that sort of psychology that goes with that. I know you're going to find that story interesting, I certainly do, it was interesting to write and I'm sure that um, that you'll like that. So do take a look at that. It's on page 36. And I've also had a bit of a rant myself. You know, I have these rants from time to time. Well, you know, I, I, this is one that I just decided um, it got the better of me the other day. And I don't, I, the, the reason is that I, I don't understand why it's so difficult to get um, people to send in stories to the magazine and it's not just my magazine it's all of them we all we all the editors talk of course and, and we all have exactly the same problem people just don't send in the stories and and it's my speculation on why that might be and something of a plea I suppose uh, for you to do that it's it's a it's a source of free promotion uh, we don't charge not none of the magazines charge for publishing these stories and yet and I know a lot of you do send stories in, and thank you for those that do. But there's so many of you that never bother. And I really don't get it. I don't understand why you don't want that free publicity. It's almost as if I could stand on the corner and, 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 and hand out £50 notes and, and, and nobody would take it. I, I, I really don't understand why people don't send in those stories. And that's what the story is about. Uh, so do take a look at that one. hope you enjoy the magazine. And of course... 
Seeing as it's now December this year, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you again in the new year. Bye for now.